We're here at the local car wash, 24 hours a day, super wash. We're going to go back in here. This is a view of the car wash. A couple uh, on the very end there you can drive through. And here you can do your own uh, car wash yourself. Now you might want to say, uh, what the heck? You're bringing that Corvette to a car wash? You're nuts. You're crazy. No, I'm not. This is the way I do it. And a couple things. Let me show you what I'm using. Over here I have a bucket that I bring with me. And I have this thing. I love this thing right here. This I use. I put this, uh, the cleaner, I put the cleaner on the wheels. Then this I use to go in through the wheels. This works great. I love this thing. So I'm going to do the wheels. And uh, usually I do the wheels first, and then I do the whole car. But the big thing is, when, you, when you're in a... The power wash is so good here at the car wash. What I do first is I use regular water, and I try to get all the crud off. Then I use a little... The soap and water to get it off, and then I'll rinse it off. And then I'll... Sometimes I'll do that, and other times I'll just put the pre... What do they call it? The pre-soak. And I put the pre-soak on here. But I like to... I like to blow it all off first. I don't, when I do, when I wash the car here, I really don't, my hands don't touch the car unless I have a little something uh, that could, um, couldn't get off when I sprayed it, so. Oh, the other thing, never, 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 under any circumstances, use that. Never, 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 never. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole, but, and I also have a couple of rags on the, on the, in the uh, inside here and uh, a mitt and a rag in case is something that's a little tough to get off or I might wash the uh, the tips I'll give them a quick wash when I'm all through I use this brush to do the outside of the wheels this goes around nice in between the sections here it does really great in here and around the outside and uh, at the very end sometimes and I'll rinse it off after I'm done I'll spray these tips and I'll go in and use this on the tips and it'll clean it right off. Today the tires look a little tired. Uh, they need a little spruce up so I have some. You can use anything. I think they're all pretty much the same. Uh, some might be a little better than the others. I don't know. Mother's back to black tire shine. I'm going to use that today. And before I do anything I'm going to spray this on the tires. Get the tires done. And actually I'm not going to spray it on the tires because I don't want to get it on the wheels. So I use this little, this little guy right here, and this, see the shape of it? So when you go around the wheel, I'll show you. When you, I spray the, I spray the uh, tire shine on here, and then I go around the wheels like this, and it makes it much easier, and it keeps most of the spray off the car. I let it set for five or 10 minutes, then I go along like I normally wash the car. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do the wheels and let those sit. And you do that when the wheels are dry, by the way. And then we'll go on from there. Okay, as I'm down to the last tire, and I've been just finishing this up, and I'm showing you what I'm doing here. I'm just taking this brush, this rubber brush there, um, and I'm just going around the outside of the tire like that. I'm going to pull the car forward, hopefully about halfway, and hitch this bottom, because sometimes you get a little spot down here in the bottom. Uh, that you might miss so I'm gonna do that too so now I'm gonna shut the shut the camera off move the car forward do the last bit and we'll be done with that we'll let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll go about washing the car and I'll uh, and I'll show you what the car is all about the next thing to do is to decide what you're gonna do next you got bug off wheel and tire cleaner pre-soak high pressure soap foam brush, oh don't do that, rinse, uh, triple foam polish which I've never used, rinse, what well, I do use, clear coat protectant, I haven't used that either, spot rinse free, this is the big one, I've been saving this one for you, I rinse the car when I'm all done, spot rinse free, if you're in a rush you could drive out of here, that thing dries by itself, there will be no spots on your car, works great, turbo dry, use that to blow the water off at the end, and make sure you hit the credit card stop or you'll be paying a fortune on 
<laughs> Everybody would come in and watch the car on your card. Now we're putting on the pre-soak. We'll put that all over the car. Put in the wheels. I've got this thing about doing everything top down. And I try to do that when I do the car. I do everything top down. Now we're at the high pressure soap. We give this a shot. This works pretty well, gets most, if not all, the dirt off. And what's really nice is you don't have to put a rag on. I just, I only put a, once in a while I wash the car at home, but I don't, you know, if you get one little uh, stone underneath that rag, it's going to act like a piece of sandpaper on your uh, click coat finish and be a real pain in the butt. So, I try not to use anything on the uh, car if I can help it. So, I think there's a couple of spots up front. I might have to put the rag on it, but I'll do it after I finish this, this uh, one, the high pressure soap. When I finish the high pressure soap, then I'll go back and uh, look for anything that might still be stuck in the car, a bug or something like that. This usually does a pretty good job. Did I get this tire back here? I don't remember. Okay. I'm doing the car one-handed. I'm trying to do this thing. Now see, there was a, there's another little black spot right there. See it? Take it right off. Yep. Took it right off. Okay. It also take, probably takes off any wax if you've waxed the car. But I don't think you need to wax the car that much. I like the detail spray. That seems to do enough. I'm not big into car shows, so I'm not polishing the crap out of my car. I put a little detail wax. I'll show you where I use that when I dry the car, actually. And that works out real well. It gives it nice luster. I have a lot of people complimenting me on the car and how it works and how it looks and how nice the paint is. So, hey, I must be doing something right. So now, we'll rinse the car. We've finished rinsing the car. Got it all rinsed. You notice I didn't pay... Uh, much attention to the windows. The reason is I do the windows at home anyway. I've found a new method. I've, 50 years I've been trying to get clean, streak-free windows. I haven't been able to do it until about six months ago. I talked with somebody, a professional window washer. He showed me the easiest way to clean these windows. They came out beautiful every time. I'm going to show you how to do it. Stick around. I'll show you how to do the windows. You won't believe how simple it is. And it works like a charm. So... Stay tuned. Okay, now we've got the uh, spot-free rinse. It comes out like that. I'm going to do the whole car with a spot-free rinse. And you will see that this spot-free rinse is a real win. It's the reason I come here. Very, I, not, all the, uh, not all of the uh, car washes have spot-free rinse, but this one does, and I love it. Next is the turbo drag. And if you look over here, I'm gonna have to probably go shut the recorder off because this thing's so damn loud it'll blow the sound right out of here. But I'm gonna, the turbo is down here. It's this big guy right here. So what I'm basically gonna do is blow the water off and this thing has some power to it. It's really great. This, this works really well. So I'm gonna blow some power, uh, blow some water off, but I think the power is gonna be so loud it's so powerful that you're probably not going to... Let me, let me turn it on anyway. You'll see what I mean. Okay? Pushing my credit card stop. It's about 11 bucks. Uh, well, with every nickel. I don't know if I can give you an idea of what the shine looks like. I know there are a few water drops on there. But this car looks great. And I really don't have any wax on it. And the car looks spectacular. I mean, look at that white. Is that, that is, I, I've never had a white Corvette. I really love this one. So anyway, one other thing I wanted to mention. When I clean the wheels, what did I use? 
Well, what do I use? Uh, I tell you, I use this. Super clean oil cleaner. They usually have it on sale. It really works great. It's worked great for me for years and years. This stuff works great. Spray it on. Works great. Use the brush to do the outside of the wheels. And it comes out great too. That works great for the wheels. So now the only thing I have left to do is dry the car. And if you look closely, there's still some water left on the roof. I don't know if you can see it or not. And I found a little trick. Now don't tell anybody this. It's just between the guys here. This is just for my people that watch the videos. I've never told anybody this one before. And I'm going to show you how this works. Let me get my towel out of here. I have a nice towel, which I use to dry the car. I don't worry about the glass. The glass I don't worry about. I wipe that. But up here, I do worry about it. So what am I going to do about it? I think you can use any detailing spray. I happen to like uh, Meguiar's. That works really good. And what I do is I just mist the area lightly, not that heavily, just lightly. And then when I wipe, it's really amazing. The water comes up so easy. Where if I don't mist it, uh, the water comes up more grudgingly. I have to wipe it twice as much and I'm not putting a little coat of uh, spray detail on the car, which I'm doing right now. It's coming out nice. It's really simple. Again, the windows I don't worry about. So I'm going to show the other secret. Stick around. Big secret coming up. How I get the windows streak free. So I'm done. I can get in the car. No, no, you cannot. Do not get in the car. You have three different sections you got to do to finish. And these are very important. The doors, the trunk, and the hood. And if you don't do those three, it's a half-assed wash job. So, the doors, I usually wipe the edges along, the edges along here in the window because they get damp. I might even wipe the top of the door that gets door that gets rusty, rust, uh, dusty, <laughs> and inside the car, just wipe this down. Looks great. Go up the side, down here, up in here, and do the outside of the door. Anywhere you see water, just give it a light hit. It picks it right up. Don't even have to spray it. Might wipe this. Last thing I do is the under carriage. This loves to hold water down here and I'll do the same thing to the other door now the hood in the trunk or the hood in the hatch I'll pop the hatch and I'll pop the hood the hatch holds a lot of water sometimes they have tons of water back here if you'll notice there's even some soap in here look at that Soap up here. I don't know if you can see it. Soap there. And it gets way up and back there too. Way up in there. Down along here. So I need to get going here. Okay, we got all the soap out of there. Looking nice and clean. And don't be afraid to go down in here and give this all a good wipe. Down in through there. While the rag is wet, I see one spot I missed here. Um, don't be afraid to uh, give it a good wipe um, and again don't worry about the glass we're going back to do the glass after we get out of here now one thing left the um, the hood when you lift the hood up water's going to run down the front don't worry about that you got the rag here in your hand take the rag and wipe it up uh, what I tend to do first to get a lot of the water out is to take, while it's popped, take my rag and put it right under here and drag it under here and then go over to the other side. And put it under here. Then lift it up. Now a lot of the water that we've been there that we've been dripping all over the place won't drip, as you can see little water in here. Make sure you 
wipe in here. This will, although we have this spot free rinse, it shouldn't spot up, but if you don't have spot free rinse in your area, this area could spot up on you. So, and that looks like, that looks like hell and it's a pain in the neck to get rid of. You see the water's running down there. We'll fix that. We're just going to wipe it. Do this now, this section. Go all the way over here. Do the inside here. Also over here. Wipe down anything that looks a little dirty. I'm getting over here. Because this is dripping. A little soap. Soap suds in there. It's all dripping from down in here. Now what I usually do is close the hood because it'll all dry up from the heat anyway. But I'm going to take this and drop the hood now and then wipe the drippings that I have here and they go right away. You see the scratches here. I did find a curbing. Put some scratches on my spoiler, damn it. <laughs> I knew that was only going to happen. By the way, those of you that watch my videos, you saw that I um, lowered the car. Well, down here in Florida, because of all the drainages along the roadways and pulling in and out of parking lots, I was scraping all the time. In fact, I lost the spoiler that's underneath there. I had to put a new one on. So what I did was I put the, brought the car back up about uh, three quarters of an inch and makes all the difference in the world. So if you notice, my car sits I don't know if you can see it from here, but my car sits a little bit higher than it was. Um, with a little bit of a rakish tint to it, it's a little bit higher, about a quarter of an inch. Um, almost a half an inch higher in the rear. Makes it look nice. I like the way it's, the stance is. But um, in retrospect, I would not suggest... Well, the wind's blowing pretty good here. I would not suggest lowering your car all the way down. I might go halfway down and I wouldn't go any further than that. Just my opinion. So let's go back to the house and I'll show you what I do with the windows. What is it I use on my window glass on the car that keeps the windows streak free? Do we have a drum roll please? Oh, we don't have any drums. Alright, this is what it is. You won't believe it. Don. Oh, and the people, I'm sure people are thinking, oh my God, Don, if that ever touches my paint, I got this on it, that on it, it'll take it off. It'll... We're not putting it on the paint, we're putting it on the window glass. You'd say, well, how do you do that? It's simple. I have one of these, you know, uh, I use these to do the windows, to do my sliders over there and what have you. Um, and they're nice and soft and they're easy to use. And what I do is, I wet this. You don't have to have it dripping wet, but I just wet it a little bit. And then I take a little Dawn, just need a few drops, rub it back and forth, get it a little bit soapy. That's it. I'm ready to go do the windows. How do I get the, the windows off, the water off? I use a squeegee. It's simple. It takes me literally 30 seconds to a minute to do the one couple minutes to do the windows. It's really, really simple. So that's my secret. I'm sharing it with you. Don't tell anybody else. This is our secret. Only people that watch the videos here, they know the secrets. Keep them to you. And by the way, thanks for all of you folks on the last uh, few weeks that have subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe. I'm going to go out now and uh, do the windows and show you how it's done. Juice it up with a little Dawn. Very simple. Go up and down. I'm not getting it on the paint. All right. I can do this side. Take my squeegee. Wipe it. I wish you could see these windows. <laughs> 50 years I've been looking for the answer. I finally found it. How did I find out the secret? Well, you know how I found out the secret? I was down at Dunkin' Donuts, and there was a window washer there, and I said, what? I, you know, I've been struggling with windows for so long. What? 
what's the answer? What do you, how do, you, how do I get windows clean? He said, I said, what do you use to do the windows here at Dunkin' Donuts? You know what he said? Done. So it dawned on me. Now you might say, well, how do you do the inside of the windows? Uh, these are easy. The back window's a son of a gun, and the front window is too. Um, oh, gee. Invisible glass makes this triangular piece like this, and if you take a, a cloth and put it over like this, and put some Dawn soap and water lightly on it, don't soak it, you know, don't have it dripping, but just enough, you can go up inside there and reach all of these crevasses inside the car, slick as a wick, same thing, all of a sudden this hatchback inside window becomes easy. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, click the subscribe button, click the little bell, you'll be noticed. You'll get a notice every time I put a new video up. And we really appreciate you looking at the video. Um, but anyway, enjoy your car, drive it, have some fun. And by the way, if you have any uh, tips beyond this, I'm sure there's a couple more tips I might have missed. Put them down below, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Make a comment, tell me what you do uh, to make your car look nice. All right, thank you, and have a great week.